Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello if you're new. My name is Jess. Welcome to Smarter Beauty where I do lots of cruelty free things here on my channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if that's something you're interested in. You can also find me on Instagram and social media. The links will be here on the screen and also linked below. Today I'm bringing you this look right here. Very spring, very purpley. And we're just gonna chit chat, get ready together, play with some makeup. I shopped my stash, grab a drink, grab a snack, grab your makeup, and let's get ready together. Let's do this. All right, so we are barefaced, ready to go. Uh, grab your makeup, we can get ready together. We can have a little chit chat. I will list all the products below in the description box if I forget to talk about them. I've been really in the mood for like spring. It's springtime now. I want bright colors. I want purple. I've been really into like blues, greens, and purples. And right now I'm in purple mode. I just want to wear purple eyeshadow. Love purples. And you know what's so funny? I was looking through my makeup collection and I'm like, oh my God, I don't even own a purple eyeshadow palette. Like I have certain palettes that have pops of purple in them. I know that there are purple eyeshadow palettes out there. I just need to... I just need to look for a good one. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? I feel like it's it's been a while since I've done this type of video. I hope you guys don't think that I'm like ignoring the situation or you know, if you see my videos and I'm still like happy and laughing, it's just because this is my happy place. This is my way to like escape things and this is my way to just have fun with makeup and share it with you guys and talk to you. And I want this space to be comfortable and relaxing and just laid back and that's hopefully the vibe of my channel the way I have it anyways. I'm gonna have some fun with makeup and hope you guys are doing well. I know things are still kind of weird. It just feels weird, right? I I'm just so glad that March is over with. Let me tell you what, I, <laughs> I felt like March was like five million years long. <laughs> uh, so I'm using an oldie but a goodie today, I pulled this out. I have not used this in such a long time. I thought, you know what? Let's take a trip down makeup memory lane. It's the Flower About Face Foundation. I'm in the shade LF1. This sadly has been discontinued. It's from Flower Beauty, the Drew Barrymore line. You guys remember, I really regret not buying some backups of this. I have just a little bit left, so I'm kind of savoring it. Why not use it today? So that's what we're gonna use today. And I might actually use a brush today. I really like using the Real Techniques buffing brush with this foundation because it is more on the lighter side and I do want decent coverage. As you can tell, my cheeks are, pr I'm pretty red today. So like I was saying, I hope you guys are doing well. I know that things are really weird right now. And trust me, I've been struggling to film. Um, if you guys don't follow me on like Instagram and Snapchat and all that stuff, then you probably are thinking, why isn't she talking about what's going on? Well, I have been talking about what's going on, but YouTube is taking down videos and you, like I can't even say the word, certain words I can't even say. So I just haven't been, oh, that does not look good. Okay, um, usually when I use a brush with this foundation, it looks better than this. Anyways, I just, I really hope you guys are good. I mean, I've been personally struggling to even sit down and film and to put on a happy face and you know to just kind of talk about makeup instead of talking about what's going on because I'm sure we've been hearing a lot about what's going on definitely have been kind of like up and down one day I'll be like really good and the next day it's like not good even on days that I'm not filming I'll sit down and, and put on my makeup and I'll just feel a little bit better you know it's not much but it's something you know it makes you feel a little bit better now, I'm the type of person where I'm home a lot. I love being home. I'm a homebody. I'm an introvert, 100%. I don't like big crowds. I don't like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I like being at home. Even though I'm that type of person, it still feels weird. Like, when you choose to be home is very different than being told to stay home. You can't go out. You can't go out on the weekend to go see a movie. You can't have date night with your significant other. It just feels really weird, you know? Having a dog has definitely helped so much. Having an animal companion is just the best because dogs, you know, they're loving, they're loving staying at home. 
I know my I know my I know that honey is super happy with my husband being home because he's working from home now and that's just such a weird thing you know getting used to a different routine but I think we're kind of all getting used to it now it's been you know a couple of weeks and uh, yeah I don't know I just hope that you guys are well and I, ho I hope you guys don't think that I'm just ignoring things it's just I want to continue making videos as usual when I'm having a really good day, I'll film as many videos as I can in that day. And that's what I kind of do already. But I'm filming as much as possible so that if I'm having a really bad time and I just can't focus and sit down and film, at least I have those backup videos in place. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Ah, I just, oh, my brain is just like all over the place. And believe me, I've got a lot on my mind. I'm thinking about my family. I'm thinking about my parents. I'm thinking about like there's a lot going on up here and I just don't really want to sit and talk about it all because then I'll just start crying and trust me you guys don't want to see me cry because it's an ugly cry we're just gonna keep things light and if you guys have any video requests or something you want to see please let me know a lot of you have been wanting me to do um, an updated nail care routine and I think that would be a good video to do I think I might try to film it today or tomorrow because I need to do my nails anyways okay love this foundation it's absolutely beautiful I'm still on the hunt I'm still on the hunt that's why I'm savoring this because I'm trying my best to find a dupe it's just beautiful all right so another product I haven't used in quite some time is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. You guys remember when this first came out, I used it non-stop and then I kind of put it in my drawer because I've been testing so many <laughs> drugstore concealers and I really want to do a video all about that. Um, I like to use the shade Snow and Swan. This is what it looks like. These are huge. There's so much product in here. All right, I'm going to take the shade Snow. And if I remember correctly, this does lean a bit yellow. But I remember being obsessed with this concealer. All right, we're looking beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna take a tiny bit of Swan, which is a little too light for me, but I wanna brighten. All right, now I remember, it's bringing me back. This concealer is still one of my favorites, you guys. It just, it's such good coverage. The formula is just perfect. It's not too dry, it's not too emollient and like wet and dewy, but it just gives your skin a natural finish. I just love this concealer. Sometimes I'll just put this all over my face and wear it as a foundation and it's just so long wearing. I can always depend on this concealer to come through. I know it's more expensive, but I have to say, I really like the Too Faced uh, like base products. I love the foundation. I really want to repurchase the foundation. I really miss using it because I just haven't been having that much luck with like newer foundations that I've been trying. I do think the drugstore has good foundations, but I just haven't been having the best of luck lately. So another oldie but a goodie is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. You guys remember this? I haven't used this in quite some time, and this is a brand new one. I think I have one more left. Oh, I love that feeling of opening up a new product. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the lid, and I'm just gonna take my damp sponge, dip into the powder, and we're gonna set that concealer. All right, and then while that kind of sets for a second, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. This is an old one I haven't used, and I pulled it out the other day, and I was like, hmm. This is actually pretty good. It's the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. That is a mouthful. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. This is very creamy and it has kind of a pinkish tone to it. All right, and then I'm just going to set that eye primer with some powder, just that same e.l.f. powder. I'm taking the e.l.f. blush brush. And then I think for the rest of my face, I'm going to use another old favorite, the e.l.f. Cool, I forget what this is called, the Color Correcting Cool Powder. Alright, so now that everything is nice and set, I'm going to take some bronzer. Where's my bronzer palette? Here it is. I just opened up a brand new one. This is the e.l.f. Bronzing Palette in Bronze Beauty. It's the lighter one. 
my old one had <laughs> I did pan in a couple of shades and so I opened up a brand new one so I'm gonna take this light matte shade here which is my absolute favorite and this is the elf complexion brush and I really like this brush from elf I don't know why but the shape of it is kind of like oval it's just it's just like perfect for applying bronzer I know it just fits perfectly under the cheekbone oh I just love this palette I every time I go back to using it I'm like oh yes looks nice and natural it just blends so nicely onto the skin it's really lovely very lovely I really love this one this is the nude blush 10 color blush palette let's do this one this one is a lot of these are more of a satin finish so I'm just gonna take this one right here and ooh, oh yeah that she's pigmented pigmented whoa I think BH still sells this. This is still one of my favorite blush palettes. I just forget that I have it. <laughs> it's really good. You can see, like, look how pigmented that is. And I barely touched my brush in there. I love how we all cover up our redness and discoloration, and then we pop blush back on. <laughs> all right, so let's move on to highlighter. I pulled out a couple of different ones. I've been kind of wanting to use this. This is an old one, and it's still one of my favorite highlighters of all time. It's from Tarte, and I think I'm going to use this one today. It's the Amazonian Clay Highlighter from Tarte Cosmetics in the shade Stunner. And you guys, I'm about ready to hit pan. Do you see that dip in there? I'm going to use the e.l.f. highlighting brush. really like this highlighting brush. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla icing. It smells so good. I just love this highlighter. It's a nice, cool-toned highlighter, and it's so hard to find a dupe for this. I've been trying to find a dupe. Oh, look at that. It's just a beautiful highlighter. And this, again, goes with so many different combinations. It doesn't matter what bronzer or blusher you're wearing. Oh, every time I use it, I just fall in love again. This is gonna go in my everyday makeup drawer for sure. <laughs> All right, and then of course we need to set everything. I'm currently testing out this setting spray from ColourPop. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. The one thing I can't really gauge with this is that it's such a fine mist. I don't even know if it's going onto my face. You know what I mean? Like I can keep spraying, but my face doesn't feel wet. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, I can feel it if I'm holding it close. I guess I can feel it. You have to hold it kind of close to your face. I don't know, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like when I use this, it doesn't really do anything. I'm gonna go off camera, do my brows, and then we'll come back to do something with these eyeballs. All right, so let's move on to the eyes. I'm thinking purple. So I pulled out a bunch of palettes. Again, I don't have like one, palette that's just all purple so i've got a couple from menagerie cosmetics and don't kill me you guys all right look i've already spent money on these products and i'm not gonna let them sit in my collection and not use them got some kat Von D palettes there's not a whole lot of purple shades in here i would say there's like a couple purples here and a blue so maybe i'll try to incorporate something into this i don't know we'll see and then I have the Metal Matte Palette. And this one has some of my favorite purples in here. I love these shades in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna take some of these purple shades here. I think I'm gonna start with this one first. And that's called Silk. I'm gonna take the E127 brush. Ooh, yeah, that purple is calling my name. So I'm just gonna stamp this in the crease. Now this isn't a very bright purple shade but i think i might add something else in a bit to the lid wow that's pigmented holy crap okay that color is beautiful it's almost like a very sheared out grape purple I haven't used it in so long i forgot what it looked like and then I'm take the same color on the elf contour brush and just pack that on the bottom lash line just connecting that down you know the drill I'm gonna take a little bit of fringe and this is an angled brush it's the e125 from that pink Paw Paw charity set and I'm just gonna very lightly I don't know how this is gonna look but I'm gonna go along the top here 
and this is almost like a I don't want to say pastel but it's a very very soft pink these brushes are so soft I love this angled one I keep forgetting to use it all right I've been really wanting to use this purple shade from the feral palette this palette is so beautiful so I'm gonna take this purple shade here and I'm just gonna take that on a small like little pencil brush and I think I'm gonna use this to kind of darken up this look haven't used this palette from menagerie in quite a while so I thought you know what now is the perfect time to really play with color so I'm just slowly going to build this color up and get the intensity that I want. This is such a beautiful purple. I love this purple shade so much. Uh, again, going in with that uh, e.l.f. contour brush and just wiping it on a towel here and dipping into that beautiful purple from the Menagerie palette. And I'm just gonna, again, pack this on. I'm only going halfway though. Because I want to bring back those other two colors. Alright, I'm going to go back in with those other two shades that we played around with. I'm going to first take a little bit of silk. And just go right along that purple. Ooh, I love how this is looking. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with that pink shade. Kind of like a peachy pink. And again, I'm just going to very lightly just kind of go. And then on a Real Techniques detailer brush, taking more of fringe. And I'm actually going to add that to the inner part here on the lower lash line. Just kind of packing this on and lightly feathering it into that purple shade on the lower lash line. Just being more precise so I really get that color payoff. And then just going in with that blending brush and just kind of softening those two colors. So, what have you guys been watching? I just watched, and with an E, I finished season three and I was bawling my eyes out like a big baby. <laughs> I love that show. Oh, I heard it got canceled and it really breaks my heart. I'm really sad about that. And then I just finished watching last night, The Good Doctor season finale. Oh my god, if you guys watch that show, it's one of my favorite shows. It, it's very rare for me to watch a lot of medical shows. I don't know, I feel like there's so many of them now, but me and the husband started watching The Good Doctor from the very beginning. We both love the main actor. I forget his name off the top of my head, but you know what I'm talking about. It just, I don't know, it's just such a good show. It's, it's a little bit different, but I don't know, I just really like it. But I was very upset with the season finale. I won't say what happened, but let me just tell ya. I was very unhappy. <laughs> All right, I think for the waterline, I don't really have a bright purple liner, to be honest with you. I wish I did. I need to invest in some better purple <laughs> pencils. I'm gonna go with, okay, I do have this one. Oh my God, there's so many dogs barking. I'm so sorry, you guys. This is from LA Girl. It's the Glide Gel Eyeliner in paradise purple all right this elf sharpener is awful you guys look what it did to my pencil what the heck all right i'm gonna put this in my water line all right so we got that in there hopefully it'll stay my eyes are really watering today all right so for the lid i think i'm gonna hop back again to the metal matte palette and i'm really I feel like I want to use Twinkle. It's one of the, what is it called? Their foil. Oh, yes, yes. That is going all over my eyeball. And I think I'll take Glitzed. So I'm going to take this and put it on my lid and this in the inner corner. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. So freaking pretty. That is freaking gorgeous. And I'm just going to go in with my brush. Just kind of lightly blend the edges so they're not harsh. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing the other side and then, I don't know, add some liner, lashes, mascara, and we should be good to go for the eye. Alright, I think I'm just going to go back in with that pencil from Ellie Girl that we put in the waterline 
and just go and smudge it along the upper lash line. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara, curl my lashes, and I'm just gonna use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara because I'm still like kind of tossing this out and I'm gonna keep using it. So I'm just gonna apply um, a nice even coat to the top and bottom and I'll try to figure out what kind of lashes we need to put on. But let's put on the mascara, we'll pick out a lip color and then some lashes and we're almost done, you guys. I'm super excited to see how this look all comes together in the end. All right, so we're gonna let that mascara dry and let's pick out a lip color. I grabbed a few shades of the Milani. These are somewhat new. Um, so I have I Am Cool. These were sent to me um, quite a while back and I really want to play around with this. Ooh, yes. Should we do monochromatic? I love doing monochromatic. So I got this really pretty purple color. And then I also have this one, I think this one's gonna be a little too much. This is called I Am Bold. <laughs> and this is like in your face, hot, hot pink. And then I have, of course, one of my favorites is uh, this one's called I Am Fabulous, which is your typical mauve pink. And you guys know I love these type of colors. Ooh. Let's go with the bright purple. Oh my goodness, this lip color, you guys, is so gorgeous. I need a matching lip liner that was really hard to do. It's not perfect, but we're just gonna roll with it. I am, oh, I'm in a purple dream right now, and I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> Again, that's, I am cool. I don't know if I'm cool, but I I'm definitely very, very much into the purple right now. All right guys, I am back, went and straightened my hair again. I need to find some hair clips that I can just pin my hair back and it doesn't leave kinks because as much as I love wearing my little bunny ears, it leaves a kink in my hair and then I have to straighten it again. And I really don't like using heat twice. <laughs> if you guys have any uh, like recommendations, please leave a comment below. I need some help with that. Anyways, I went with the Away Studio Foamy Lashes in Gaia, Gia, Gia however you say that, and I definitely like these. I'm just having a weird off day where every single lash I put on just looks weird, but these are actually really nice. I haven't worn these in a while. So here's the finished look from far away. I really love how this look turned out. It's exactly what I was craving, some purple, some color, and definitely this kind of makeup just, you know, kind of boosts your mood. It makes me happy. It just makes me happy. You should wear what makes you feel good. Let me just show you the eye look up close really quickly. So that's everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this kind of chit chatty get ready with me. I love how this look turned out. Again, I will try to link all the products down below. I'm sending you guys my love and uh, if you guys want to see any other particular videos right now, please let me know in the comment section. Of course, subscribe if you're new here. You can also follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and all that good stuff. My links will be here on the screen and also linked down below. I will see you all very soon in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.